I know it's truly, truly tragic. Uh, in fact, uh, they had packed about a hundred, couple of hundred people into that building. And it's really sad to hear that the fire killed, I believe they initially said 35, now it looks like 41, dozens more are injured. So it's really a terrible situation. It's a reminder, sadly, of how much our migrant workers suffer when they go abroad hoping to make something to support their families at home and they end up in this kind of terrible conditions. I pray and hope that the government of Kuwait will take very stern action against whoever is responsible and will also help compensate the families who lost their loved ones. We all feel a great pain and condolence for the, for the families because these are the breadwinners who have been supporting their families at home and I certainly hope there will be major compensation. Meanwhile, I had five years ago when I was chairman of the External Affairs Committee, I had been pressing the government and the Ministry of External Affairs to do a revised emigration bill to produce provisions that will guarantee better conditions for our migrant workers. I'm shocked that in the five years since I had given the suggestion to the ministry and the ministry had accepted it, that no bill has come. And it's really been a dismaying matter. We need to act promptly to create the capacity to support our migrant workers wherever they go. So I would urge the government to, without any delay, come back to Parliament with a serious bill that will enhance the protections for our migrant workers wherever they go. Having said that, once again, my prayers and my heart goes out to the victims and their families of this terrible news today. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.